everyone. I'm Tina. And I'm Jaren. And we are members of the Perfectionism and Optimism Pessimism Lab. Directed by Dr. Edward C. Chang. We've both had the privilege of being in the lab for a few years now. And Dr. Chang's lab has given us so many opportunities to be involved in a variety of research projects that interest us. Yeah, uh, under Dr. Chang's guidance, our lab works collaboratively to evaluate the literature, design studies, collect data, conduct and interpret statistical analyses, and even write up our own findings that are eventually turned into manuscripts and submitted to peer-reviewed journals. So through this process, we have had the privilege to learn about the intersection of a wide range of individual differences variables, including hope, optimism, perfectionism, and the roles that they play in psychological and for example, my most recent research project focused on HIV-positive Indian adults and the role of stress-related growth in the relationship between spirituality and adjustment in this population. This was an especially meaningful project for me because HIV-positive populations are both severely understudied and also stigmatized in many communities. Mm -hmm. So it felt really good knowing that our research could one day potentially inform treatments and interventions for this group. As for my current project, I was driven by the statistic that one in four women have reported experiencing some form of sexual assault during their undergraduate career. So, to investigate how harmful the repercussions of sexual assault victimization are to female undergraduates, I chose to examine whether the experience of general negative life events or sexual assault victimization is more harmful to female undergrads. Findings from this research can help researchers, practitioners, and university administrators across the nation play a greater role in providing the best support for female undergraduates. The psychology department has really played a key role in supporting our undergraduate careers financially by providing funding for data collection, giving students a chance to be exposed to the research community through scholarships, and helping us cover conference registration and travel costs. Exactly! Because of the psychology department, our lab members have gotten the honor to present in various regional, national, and even international psychology conferences over the past few years. Yeah, so for example, members in the lab have gotten to travel to Canada, Boston, Chicago, Texas, and even China and India. Um, all of these experiences truly help us connect with other researchers and solidify both our passion for the field of psychology and our commitment to continuously produce high-quality, impactful research that benefits our community. Furthermore, it's important to know that our lab is only one voice of the many that your donations can help. Your contributions to Giving Blue Day can truly help shape a student's future and help solidify their decision to pursue research and future careers in the field of psychology. We've experienced it firsthand. Thank, Thank you. you.